Hi, God. Thanks for the shine. Hello, people. I'm one of the people. Let's hang out. But before we go, we got to do what we got to do, man. We got a coffee shop bit. And then we're going to try to make this one quick, man. We're going to just try to read this one straight through. This one, we just wanted to be a straight lecture, man. So hold on. Let me take a sip. And then let's hop on this bit, man. Yeah, that's that cappuccino, man. Okay, so <laughs> let's go ahead and start reading, okay? You know, so you're going to see on the screen where it's going to say, Father God's law is simple. Repeat, Father God's law is simple, man. Once you remember that, you're going to be cool, okay? This is one. Okay, so check this out. It says, remember the order, all right? This is our script. This is what we lay out, okay? It says, private is not public. Remember this, okay? And then we got that building block. This is that building block 101F. F is in Frank. It says, truth. Mm -hmm. Truth by whomsoever pronounced is from God. Remember that? And we're going to be cool, man. And then you drop down and then you got that other building block where it says 49I. I is an igloo. It says the Christian, repeat, the Christian, repeat, the Christian religion is part of the common law. Once you know that, you're going to be cool, man. Remember this, okay? All right, then you drop down and then we got this simple script right here where it says word love, love word, God. Okay, that's that mathematics, okay? Who's the word? Jesus Christ. Once you remember that, you're going to be cool. Cool, man. I'm going to say this until Father taps me out. Why? Because I'm a Christian, okay? I follow Christ, okay? That's my bridegroom. I'm the bride, all right? I know how to be a bridegroom, and I know how to be a bride because I follow I follow my man, my Lord, my Savior, my King, my everything, Jesus Christ, okay? And then you drop down, and then you got the status, standing, and jurisdiction. Drop down again, and then it says, by God, we serve with love. Remember this and we're going to be cool, man. All right. So then you drop down and then it says, let's have some fun. That's all we like to do. How do we have fun? By showing you the words, man. That's it, man. That's why we have fun. We have fun all day, all night because we get to hang out with Jesus Christ too. Okay. Because Jesus is the word. All right. And then you drop down and we got that watchdog. It is written. All right. We're always going to show you the words as written. Okay. We're never going to tell you what our opinion is. When we do, we'll say, this is my opinion. Or you will hear us say, I think. Think, right and whenever I say I think I'm imagining something okay you know so we're always going to show you what is written and then we're going to have a conversation about what's written all right all right so then we got that sneaky bride trick okay so we're always going to show you the sneaky brides okay who is a bride any entity that falls into the jurisdiction of the constitution is a bride of the people example like i am a bride of christ okay why because i fall under the jurisdiction of jesus christ i fall under the jurisdiction of father god i fall under the jurisdiction of holy ghost therefore i am the bride okay and i must obey what my bridegroom what my master says that i have to do that's why i always say boss all right because boss means master all right you know so then drop down you're gonna see sneaky snake serpent creep okay that's what a sneaky bride is okay because a sneaky bride is always trying to creep and they're always trying to creep with the serpent we don't like that okay all right so then drop down and we got those eyes locked okay then we got those ears open okay and then it says showtime we love to show time and then it says greetings brides okay so this is for all the brides you know this is always going to be for all the brides because we're just going to show you what is written why? Because we love you. Because you're the neighbor and we love all of our neighbors. Why? Because God dwells within all people, even if they don't know it, man. Even if they don't know it and we're here to serve, all right? All right, so then you drop down and then we got that lecture. What is lecture? Read. What is read? Collect, gather, okay? So we've collected and we've gathered up some words and we're going to show you the words, man. And we just love it because... Father God's law is simple, okay? You know, so check this bit out right here, man. This one's going to be fun. Okay, so let me let me start with the preface right here. You know, so we're doing this for a specific reason because we're watching all the people get tricked out right now, man, because all of the people are worried. They're worried about a uh, 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 management entity, right? So there's a management entity that manages the people's funds, what they call their retirement accounts and things like that. You know, so there's an entity out there that gathers up the people's money and then they move the people's money into what they call funds, right? And then those funds allow corporations to do what they can do, okay? You know, so that's what this entity is right here. We call it a bride, okay? You know, so this entity also called a bride thinks it's lording over the people because then you got the CEO, which is a servant of the people because it's a servant of that entity right there right you know so they have these private 
fund managing entities out there that are thinking that they can control the corporations of the people, which they can't. OK, they can't. They just don't know what the order is in the realm. And that's why we the people are back and we the people are here to show you the love, man. You know, so. This goes out to all those people that are living in that financial realm, okay? You know, so if you're hanging out in that financial realm, check out these words that we're going to lay out for you, okay? You know, so then you're going to see, you know, this is coming from Stanford Business, okay? You know, and it says Insights, you know, by Stanford Business, right? Drop down, then it says Economics, okay? That's that household, all right? Then you drop down, and then it says the biggest antitrust story you've never heard, okay? We're showing it to you right now, okay? It says the rise of of institutional investors threatens competition okay comma hurts consumers what is a consumer a consumer is one of the people okay remember that a consumer is a title that the people can put on at will okay we can put on titles we can take off titles okay those are those masks that the people talk through okay it hurts consumers comma and might qualify as a new kind of monopoly okay so just know that adversary is always out there trying to get sneaky right and they're always creeping and then they're always trying to creep around the words as written man and that's why they try to move the people and they try to slide the people over into a different jurisdiction that the the adversary can lord over okay but just know that God's people are here and we're here to keep the garden straight man because that's what we were created to do okay you know so just know that you know there may be an antitrust story that you've never heard but because God's people are awake right now we're here to show you the words okay you know so check this out we're done with that bit you know but let me just show you the date right here that was in August 6 2018 okay so they were talking about this story way back in the day but we see on the screens right now that a lot of people right now are shook because they're afraid of these you know um, financial firms that are investing the people's money and then they're making the boards within corporations do what they want them to do okay so that's the trick man you know so they take the money and then they say well we got all the money so you better do what we need we tell you to do and then the corporations are like okay we'll do that and then they go out there and then they say well I guess we have to have a ESG score right or we have to have these certain metrics right here if we want to get some money that's the trick man because you know the love of money you don't do that man we don't love that money we love god man you know but we know that those men and those women out there that love money you guys will always be turned out and you guys will always be tricked man remember this okay you don't want to love the money the money's a tool the money's a tool that the people create okay by god with love remember that and we're gonna be cool all right all right so we're done with that bit man all right so check out this bit right here we got father god's law is simple father god's law is simple I almost said love right father god's law is simple too word drop okay you know so check this out we're not even going to read it all right we're just going to show you the watchdog right you know and we're just going to scroll all the way down and we're going to show you what the function of the watchdog is to investigate the operations of the various officers any entity that falls under the jurisdiction of the constitution the watchdogs we're watching you now okay so we're investigating you now we're looking at your words all of the words that you've put out there for the public man we are studying your words and we are seeing what you can do and what you can't do and we're noticing right now that you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing okay it's real simple man because we will know you by your words man your words are the fruit that we know now okay all right so then you drop all the way down and then it says people remember this people are subject to god right it is written okay remember this all right you know so i'm always saying remember this because you have to think and when you remember you think and when you think you can imagine what it is that we're saying okay you know so once you know that the people are under god's jurisdiction right then you will be cool right and in any other entity that isn't under under god's jurisdiction is under the jurisdiction of the people and then the people create servants and we create brides and we create governments that those entities then watch over okay remember that all right that's the hierarchy man that's why are we saying remember the order all right god's on top jesus is on top holy ghost is on top then you got man woman child the people and then everything else okay that's the order it's real simple okay you know so just know that see CEOs, any executive is a servant of the people. Any legislature is a servant of the people. Any judge is a certain of the people because they fall into the judicial branch, all right? Remember this and we're going to be cool, okay? You know, so check this bit out right here, man. This is that image. It says, this is from the conversation. So we went online and we took a screenshot. It says, these three firms. What three firms are we talking about? They're talking about Vanguard, right? They're talking about BlackRock. And then they're talking about, what's this other one? 
uh, I think it's called State Street, okay? It's a little blurry right there, but those are the three firms that claim to say that these three firms own corporate America. They own the body of America? I don't think so. I don't think so because the people own America. Why? Because the people have created the constitutions that all of these corporate entities serve in. Therefore, the people are your masters. The people are your creators. The people are the masters and the creators of these three entities that allegedly own America, okay? We don't care what it is that you think that you are, man, because if you're registered to the state, then that means you're just subject to the people and the people are going to be subject to God, okay? Remember that? And we're going to be cool, man. You know, if you don't know this, you better come hang out with the people that do know this, man. All right, so this story was published on May 10, 20117, man. You know, 2017, right? They went all the way back in time, or we went all the way back in time. So let me just read the first paragraph right here where it says, a fundamental change, really? A fundamental change is underway in stock market investing, really? Okay, and the spinoff effects are poor to dramatically impact corporate America, okay? So we know this is happening right now because we see the boards of the people, you know, are making decisions that don't benefit the people. And when the people don't feel the Benny, you know, we don't feel happy, then we're going to say that you're in maladministration, man. It's real simple right now, man. You know, so these three entities right here may be in maladministration because they may be forcing the hands of the people's businesses to do things that, the pe that don't benefit the people. And if you do that, we will come after you. We will show you the law. We will instruct you and we will do it in the love and in the peace of Jesus Christ. And if you don't want to listen, then we'll circle back around and then we're going to make you feel the pain, okay? Because we got brides out there that'll make you feel the pain, okay? So any entity that is created by the government is a bride of the people and the people, we're learning how to control that beast right now, man. So we're learning how to ride our brides right now and we're doing it in the love and in the simplicity of Jesus Christ, man. It's real simple, man. That's why Christ was telling us, follow me, follow me. And we followed Christ and we came out of the beast system and now we get to over see the B system, okay? And then that's just how it goes, man. You know, so that's why we know who our bride is or we know who our bridegroom is therefore the people know who our brides are okay you know it's a game all the way down man you know so we're done with that bit you know so just know that these three firms own cor corporate America that's not true right you know the people own America okay it doesn't matter what those other men and other women go on the screen and say blah 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 you know the US is a corporation yes it is and the people wrote the rules the rules to the game and the people control those corporations okay and every entity that serves those those corporations is a trustee of the people okay so you have a fiduciary responsibility to make sure that the people are happy okay and then when the people present themselves to you like we're doing right now you better listen and you better obey okay you know so we're done with that bit right there man you know i thought i had a little thing on my nose right there all right so we're done with that bit right there okay so let's go ahead and hop on our next bit you know so we're on that father god's law is simple three okay so we got remember the order it says men women children people okay you know are subject to father god jesus christ and holy ghost period okay that's the journey man that's why we're always saying period because then you start that journey with father god jesus christ and holy ghost all right then you drop down and we got that open challenge this is an open challenge right it is written love okay you know prove us wrong show the people your knowledge man so any entity that falls under the jurisdiction of the constitution we openly challenge you to prove us wrong we openly challenge you to say come show us where it's written that you have authority over god's people come show us where it's written that you can control and you can say what man woman child the people can and can't do okay and if you can't show us where it's written you better obey you better obey the people who created your positions all right you know so we're done with that bit right there man so check out this word right here man we love god's word so this is building block this is coming from the Ten Commandments, okay? So we went into the Ten Commandments, and we're just going to glean one from them, okay? So check this out, right? This is building block five right here. It says, thou shalt not bow down thyself to them. Who is them? Any entity that's not Father God, any entity that's not Jesus Christ, any entity that's not Holy Ghost, any entity that, that is not the one supreme being, the one Father, the one God, the one Christ. We don't bow down to them, okay? So any entity that man has created, any 
preacher of man, we don't serve you, right? We serve Father God. We serve Jesus Christ. We serve Holy Ghost, okay? That's why we don't care. We will openly challenge you and we will be like, yo, you think you control me? I don't think you can, man, because it is written right here. Well, we don't bow down, okay? It says, thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. We don't do it, okay? They serve us, all right? For I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God. That's a fact, man. You know, Father's super jealous, okay? It says, visiting the iniquity of the fathers, little f, you know, upon the children, little c, you know, unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me, okay? You know, so we know that that's a fact right now, man. So we know all the men, all the women, all the children, all the people who bow down to them, right? You know, you guys are going to feel God's wrath, man, and we're going to see it because that's why you guys are all shook right now, and that's why you guys are all scared right now because the because the adversary has whispered into the bride's ears and have turned the bride away from the people and you don't know this because you don't hang out in the word but that's okay because father woke us up and we're here to show you the word all right you know the word's always been around us okay it's always love all right check this out six right this is building block six it says and shooing mercy unto thousands okay Father's always showing mercy, right? And showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me. Who is me? Father God. Who is me? Jesus Christ. Who is me? Holy Ghost, okay? One being, all right? You know, and keep my commandments, okay? That's all we have to do. That's all we have to do, okay? You know, is that we don't bend we don't bend the knee to anyone but Father God, Jesus Christ, and Holy Ghost, okay? Any man, any woman, any child, any people that bows down to them, then they then we know for a fact that they are subject to the people because they follow creatures of man okay you know that's the rules to the game man it's real simple all right these are the 10 commands the father has given us okay way back in the day all right that's that exodus that's that journey man you know so we're done with that bit man you know that was cool all right so check out father god's law is simple four okay this is our last bit right here all right so we got that word drop it says free free is this is why we're always saying free hold on I feel like I have to burp. <laughs> okay, hold on. Here it comes. <clears throat> Excuse me. I had to pull it out, right? It says free is, this is why we're always saying free and love, okay? Free is exempt from, okay? You know, not in bondage, okay? Remember that, all right? Acting of one's own will. Remember this, okay? Dear, beloved, coming from PRI, which means to love, okay? So just know that free is love and love is free, okay? So now let's see what love is, okay? Love is the love of God. Remember this, okay? Dear, remember this, okay? Beloved, remember this, okay? Coming from L-E-U-B-H, which means to care. Remember this, okay? Desire, remember this, okay? Love, okay? So love is love, right? And love is love, and love is free. You're circular, okay? That's that circuit that keeps everything going. And who's the love? Jesus Christ, okay? Remember that, and you will be free, okay? That's all we're gonna say, okay? So then drop down. Now we're gonna show you a little bit of knowledge right here. This says, California Constitution, comma, 18. 49 comma article i or article one comma section one okay these are the words in section one right we're always doing a comma like this too because comma is like a hatchet you know it's like when you chop something off right you're separating something all right it's like chop 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 all right so check this out it says all men are remember this all men are remember this okay all men are final time remember this okay all men are by nature free and independent okay by god we are free all right remember that all right and have certain inalienable rights remember this okay and among which are those of enjoying and defending life and liberty comma you know acquiring comma you know possessing comma and protecting property comma and pursuing and obtaining safety and happiness period okay that's what we do man you know that's what the people are so the people are free man here we go we got that question open challenge right you know as written are all men women people by nature free and independent question mark yes or no show the people your knowledge okay so if you don't feel that the people are, are are by nature free and independent then show us where we're not show us where the creators of the constitutions that have created your position to be able to do what you can do that say that we the people are not free we the people are not independent okay so you better show us and you better put it on you better put it on paper and you better swear under penalty of perjury that you have authority over the people okay do it 
it. We challenge you. Any executive, we challenge you. Any legislature, we challenge you. Any judge or judicial, we challenge you. Any attorney, we challenge you. Any entity that falls under the jurisdiction of the Constitution, we challenge you. Okay, we love challenging because we love to test the spirit, man. You know, so we're done with that bit right there, man. We love that word drop, okay? You know, so let's work on our closeout game right here, man. Remember the order, okay? We're always going to say this, all right? Remember the order. God, Jesus Christ, Holy Ghost, okay? Remember that, all right? You know, creator creates creations. Remember this, okay? You know, people create the bank table. Repeat, people create the bank table. What is the bank? The bank is the table, and the table is the bank, and the bank is the board, okay? And the people are always putting men, and the people are always putting women in the board to serve the people, okay? Remember this, all right? You know, bank isn't what you think it is, man. Bank is real simple. The bank is the people, okay? The bank is at credit. The bank is at heart. Who's that? Jesus Christ. Why? Jesus Christ paid for everyone's sins, man. Remember this and you will be free, okay? So then drop down and then we got that observations about life. That's that Proverbs, you know, chapter 27, verse 17, King James Version. That's what's up, man. We love this building block right here. You know, so check out 17. It says, iron sharpeneth iron. Repeat, iron sharpeneth iron, okay? So I'm iron right now and I'm here to sharpen up the iron of the other man and the other women right now, man. We love it, okay? You know, because I've been sharpened by the Word, the Holy Word, the Holy Bible, King James Version. Jesus Christ has been sharpening me, okay? You know, Holy Ghost has been sharpening me, okay? Father God has been sharpening me, okay? And now I love to get out here and I love to test the blades, man. And I love to test the Word and I love to see, do the people know what's up, man? All right, so check this out. So a man sharpeneth the countenance of his friend, okay? So we're trying to see what type of behavior you have, all right? You know, so then drop down and we got that mission. This is what we send. This is what we throw. We're throwing it out there right now for the men and the women, okay? It says, if you wish to be boss people and help instruct, then click link in the description, okay? So if you want to hang out with the people in the private jurisdiction where we can talk about some wonderful things and we can show you some wonderful things and then we can get out there and instruct all of the brides that fall into the jurisdiction of the people then hook up with us contact us and let's talk all right you know so thanks for listening done simple love man you know so that's it man you know we just wanted to lay that father god's law simple out you know because you know we see a lot of people that, that are living in fear right now they're literally in fear because they're afraid that the money that they earn the property that they earn which is being invested by a middle man or a middle manager you know then is is trying to lord over the people because they've accumulated so many people into these index funds into these groups and then they say now that we have so much money and if you want to do what and we want you to do what we want you to do right you know so they're no longer obeying who they're subject to they're no longer obeying the people right so the people are the boss okay under god remember that okay and then all of these companies and these corporations are subject to the people okay remember this and we're gonna be cool man so it doesn't matter how tiny you think you are you know if you think that you're just one man if you're one woman you know you have that ability because we've created the rules the rules to the game in the constitution where we've declared our rights and we've set them aside and we say don't mess with this okay so if you mess with the people's property and you try to prevent the people from getting getting on their happiness and getting on with their freedom man that we're coming after you okay so if you try to tell companies and corporations if you don't follow our plans on what we want for you to do because we feel that the climate is changing right now and you better do what we say that you can do yo we're coming after you man because you don't have that authority okay you can do that on your own time okay but don't do that with the property that the people have given you to be able to invest in the corporations that allow the people to earn property okay remember this all right you know so we're done we're gonna put this together we're gonna upload it we're gonna see how it flows okay so if you want to hang out with us in the private hook up with us all right i'll talk to you guys in the future remember nobody's having more fun than us bye